Hi there. Okay, so last week we talked a lot about coconut oil and the difference between MCT oil and coconut oil. This week we're gonna talk about the oil category in general. To give you a little history, for a solid 50 years, the American Heart Association with other organizations have been suggesting that we replace saturated fats and cholesterol with polyunsaturated fats. What are polyunsaturated fats? They're the omega-6 fats, which we know as vegetable oils, corn, soybean, canola, safflower, sunflower, clear, tasteless, highly refined, and highly processed. Thanks to the big food industry and the power of Monsanto's global soybean monopoly, Americans consume 18 billion pounds of soybean oil every year. Gross. And I know some of you are thinking, well, I don't eat soybean oil. But here's a challenge. Start looking at your food labels because it's in everything. You will be shocked. So for decades, our consumption of omega-6 oils in the form of these oils has skyrocketed, and the consumption of omega-3s, the healthier fats, has plummeted. And while they don't know exactly what the ratio is between sixes and threes and what you should consume, what they do know is that it's way out of whack right now and we need to balance it because the omega-6 fats fuel the inflammatory pathways and the omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. As an example, there was a trial where they asked people to increase their omega-6s in the form of safflower oil and decrease their cholesterol intake. And what did they find? A 37% increased risk from heart attack despite significantly lowering their cholesterol. Why is this? Well, for one thing, vegetable oils go rancid easily in the body, which makes any cholesterol you do have much more likely to cause heart disease. So even if you have low cholesterol, if it's oxidized or rancid, it puts you at a much higher risk for heart disease. So then the next question is, what oil should I be using and how? Never fear, I've made a little list of my favorite oils, which I'll give for you, so don't stress out taking notes, but I want to explain one thing first. I'm sure many of you have heard of the concept of smoke point. I didn't really understand it for a while, so I want to explain it for those that don't know. Knowing the smoke point of oils is really important because heating oil to the point where it literally begins to smoke means it's producing toxic fumes and harmful free radicals and doing not awesome things inside the body. So we want to avoid that. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of the oils we know are terrible for us, the vegetable oils and the products made from vegetable oils like margarine. If you've got margarine in your fridge, march right over, take it out, throw it away. Bad. Second, once you're using the good oils, you want to make sure you're using them correctly. In other words, not allowing them to get over the smoke point degree when the chemistry of the oils begins to change and cause harm in the body. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to give you guys a little cheat sheet. I made a chart, um, which I will give you, but I want to point out a few of the highlights. There are many oils that are truly best with no direct heat on them at all. We talked about it a little last week. They're great for salad dressing, smoothies. Examples are MCT oil and flax oil. Olive oil is the next one, which is tricky because it's so wonderful and has so many benefits, but it's not great with much heat. So it's better at lower temperature cooking. The next category is medium high heat oils. And these choices are coconut oil and grass fed butter. Those are the best choices and they're ideal for baking. And finally, drum roll. The oil that is the best for high heat sauteing and frying is avocado oil. I know you're thinking, what? I don't even have that in my kitchen. Well, I've got it in liquid form and in spray form, and I love it because it has a smoke point of over 500 degrees. So there you have it, Cooking Oils 101. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be giving you guys a little cheat sheet that has my favorite oils, the smoke point of the oils, and the best uses for the oils. And if this subject is interesting to you, the stuff we talked about last week, the stuff that we are talking about now, and you wanna learn more about it, I highly recommend Dr. Mark Hyman's book, Eat Fat, Get Thin. This book, um, he's an amazing functional physician. Um, he's really one of my wellness gurus, and I learned so much by reading this book, and it really dives into understanding fat, really, and what it does in the body, and, um, and healthy ways to consume it and eat it. So um, I highly recommend that book if you'd like to learn more. I hope you learned something today. I can only teach so much in five minutes, but I hope you learned something. I hope you have a great rest of your day and an awesome weekend. Bye for now.